We are on scene tonight with the Salt Lake City Police with unbelievable body cam and surveillance video showing the dangers that officers face every day across the country. Two officers were on routine patrol at the Salt Lake City International Airport. Without warning, a man walks up and punches Officer Cody Orgill in the head from behind. Then the suspect looked like he was going to punch a second officer for putting his hands up and getting on his knees. It happened so suddenly that no audio of the attack was recorded on the officer's body cameras. The sound picked up as they took the suspect into custody. 845, we just had a male just come up and attack 852 from behind. We're in the lobby. Level two, right by the info desk. Who are you? Can you stick around for a minute? Police handcuffed the suspect, John Beto, and asked a witness to stay and give a statement. Officer Oriel was bruised, but not seriously injured by the sucker punch. Police say Beto did not have a plane ticket, and they have not offered any motive for the attack. The incident remains under review. Joining me again is Sean Six Larkin, retired Tulsa police lieutenant. All right, so Six, this is a, a different one in the fact that it's in an airport where you would think that security is already heightened. Yeah, absolutely. You know, this is basically your, your textbook spontaneous ambush. Uh, you know, it probably wasn't planned on this guy's part. You know, the type of calls where, uh, you know, a suspect wants to ambush a police officer, calls that they and, and draws the police officers to their residence. This one, the guy's just walking through the airport, and honestly, it's a cowardly sucker punch that he does to the police officer. And after the guy attacks one officer, it appears as if he's going to punch the other one before, oh, God, before he quickly surrenders. I mean, I've seen this so many times, and every, each time I see it, I still have the same reaction of that, oh. Um, but it, it looks like he was about to punch the second one before he just surrenders. Yeah, he, he definitely was going to try and attack the second officer. And I think the, the second officer was just completely startled i mean he just turned around and he kind of takes a semi-defensive you know posture and listen i'm not making light of the the suspect's actions here luckily this guy doesn't really know how to throw a punch um and if you look at his punch it's it's, it's pretty poor performance but still when you're being sucker punched from the side and you don't see it coming even a small punch is gonna gonna you know get, get you a little woozy from it yeah i mean that that's the ultimate way to trash this guy right you say to him you know, not only did he commit this crime, but he doesn't even know how to throw a punch either. A hundred percent. Like I said, I mean, I'm no boxer. I've done a little boxing, you know, myself, uh, you know, through the police academy and things like that. <laughs> but when you sucker punch a guy from the side and, you know, he turn around, just kind of looks at you like, what the hell are you doing? Uh, you know, the, the guy's not, you know, just obviously who knows why he did it, but he's got himself in trouble both on the state level as well as federal level now. Yeah, that's right, because the, at an airport, it's a different uh, level of charges, right? That's correct, yes. Uh, you know, the state charge for the assault, and, and here's what's crazy. It was only a $500 uh, fine, you know, or bond, I guess, that this guy was able to get out on uh, because it's, a, you know, a simple assault. But there is the federal charge because it took place in the airport. Yeah. You say that um, uh, you've never really boxed, but if you look at your Instagram page, one would certainly think, uh, that you've been involved in, in some sort of combat. At least you want your viewers to believe that based on what you put up on your Instagram that, page. That, <laughs> that's, all, that's all social media is, man. It's a highlight to, to poof. This is pretend. This is pretend. Right? It's all, it's all fake. Your whole thing, right? Every bit about it. I was never even a police officer. <laughs> Tattoos are <laughs> fake as well. <laughs> Well, you know what? I still can't get over. I mean, I, I have an extra 30 seconds here. I can't get over the last segment. I don't know if you got to see it with the guy who was faking his own death. Did you get to see that? I, I did. And that's the beauty of sitting here before I get on with you tonight. I get to just laugh and laugh and laugh. And I'm glad. I, I hope there's never a hot mic when I'm sitting in here. Put it that way. Right. And let me tell you something. If that guy does turn out to be Arthur Knight, as he claims, I'm going to have a lot of apologizing uh, to do. I am uh, I'm not expecting to have to uh, to do that, but we shall see. Sean Larkin, as always, thank you. Thank you for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.